just more boring sanding happening so that's why there isn't uh, much videos and it's been really nasty weather so I haven't been able to work outside and uh, so I've just been I got this surface sanded out so I can uh, little fillers needed right here a couple little spots where I might need filler where it's warped and that's where I did some welding there and you can see the little spot welds from the factory full length of the trunk lid so yeah they weren't all about perfection show car quality for their cars they're selling but we're going to clean this up and make that look really pretty uh, today's another day and it looks like it's going to be a nice day so i think i'm going to start masking the galaxy off here and back it out and prime in there and then uh shoot some paint i'm going to let the primer dry a couple hours it's supposed to be super nice today so you know hopefully it comes out i don't want to paint the spatter in direct sun so i may have to move the car in shade but the primer i don't care the sun will help cure it but i've been kind of it's to that point you know everything's closed so i've been running out of materials and and uh you know to work on the car like this gray sandable primer i was completely out of so when i finish the what filler is needed on the you know on this back part of the trunk lid I'll need to prime it with that stuff so I can you know sand it out and make sure there's you know no imperfections and uh, the paint store has been closed and you know it's been what six weeks uh, lockdown here in Michigan so I've been ordering things online well I ordered this yesterday and it came today so I got six cans of this and I got uh, six cans of the they haven't come yet this, I needed this the most so I'm glad this came first and uh, and I ordered I'll have to wash my hands after I'm done here and I'll wipe all this down and uh, but I just wanted to get it out of the box because I need it and I can fold the box up and throw it away but um yeah, I'll wipe that all down. I can't touch myself now that I touch those. And I'm going to wipe those down with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Or just let them sit in the sun. And uh, probably wipe them down with some isopropyl alcohol. And uh, throw the box away and then I'm going to go wash up and get to masking. And one other thing too, I think driven that once or twice... In the past six weeks and I've driven that once in the past six weeks so how many other people out there have not been using their vehicles at all I mean literally I have not driven that but once in six weeks and uh, I probably won't even be driving this I don't know we'll see we'll see how things go I don't know if I'm gonna be driving this this summer or not I might might drive it up to my dad's maybe in June or July or August. I don't want to, you know, I'd love to take them out for the first ride in the car, but no, that would, that's not six feet between those two seats, and I don't want my dad to get anything if I, you know, on the chance I might, you know, it's just not good. I don't want anything to happen to my dad. So no, sorry, Dad, you're not going for a ride on the maiden voyage, but I'll take you for a ride in the car when things get all better. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to get the mask in here. Those are all wiped down. Did I mention, yeah, I think I mentioned that I got the, also ordered a case of six, uh, the green metal etching primer. And I also ordered a case of uh, trim black because the all the moldings down here along the rockers have black in them and the radiator grill has black stripes in it. And I use that stuff quite a bit. Obviously the grill isn't in, but seeing I used the trim black a lot, I just ordered a case. And surprisingly, at the paint store, I pay probably another 4 or $5 a can for this and what I did online. So maybe the you know buying the stuff online wasn't bad because now I just buy it in bulk and save a lot of money. I mean, I'm... I, I bought six cans for what it cost me to buy three at the paint store. 
or three and a half. And uh, the same with the metal etching and the trim black. I was looking for some paint for the convertible top frame online, but I didn't really find what I wanted. But Governor Whitmar, I think, has just lifted some of the restrictions, and one of the restrictions she lifted was on paint stores. So I'll get all my face mask and gloves and protective gear on maybe in the next couple weeks because I think it's going to be a week or so or a week or two before I'm ready to paint that. I haven't even prepped it yet. So I'll probably paint the quarter panels before I paint this. And I'll probably pull the door off the car before I paint this. But I may paint this before the door goes back on. I'll work on the door and this at the same time. And uh, like when I'm waiting for fillers to dry or something, I can work on sanding and cleaning and getting that ready to paint. And then I can just mask around here and cover everything up and just spray it. And this header panel, I'm not going to worry about spraying this. I'll just spray right to here and uh, take, maybe I'll take this off. But I'm going to paint this one off the car. i got to clean it up. This is... This is the other header panel I got. And uh, for all my new viewers, a lot of, I have a lot of new subscribers. And uh, you may not know, you know, if you haven't gone back and looked at my past videos, yeah, I've rebuilt everything on this car mechanically. The steering gear, the steering pump, the alternator, the starter, the engine, resealed the transmission, went through the differential, new axle bearing, spring shocks, control arm bushings, Went through the wiper motor, the heater blower motor, new water pump, radiator was uh, checked out and redone, the heater cores record, carburetors overhauled. You know, I really have gone, mechanically the car is pretty much all done. All new brakes, stainless steel brake lines, new exhaust, new ignition switch, new neutral safety switch. Basically, mechanically, everything on this car needed attention. So for my new viewers that may not realize it, this car sat parked for 44 years. So that did its toll on a lot of things, I think, that just sitting in one spot for all those years. But um, we're getting there. It's moving. It's get the trunk pan painted, and that's a big step forward to where I can uh, start getting the rear quarter panel sand I'll sand all this and reprime it with the red oxide and, and then sand that out block that out and it should be ready to ready to spray there was a couple little marks in the body sheet metal somewhere in here and I, I think I pointed them out before I primed it but I can still see a couple little marks and so I'm going to sand the primer reprime it, probably sand it again, and I think that'll correct it. They're barely noticeable. And there was one other spot over here, right here, that feels kind of like a little dimple right, right there. So I'll probably do something with that too. That's the only other imperfection I can find on the rear quarter panels. And uh, yeah, all right, let me get going here for the second time or third time I've stated. I thought I'd let the escape warm up a minute or two. It's been, I don't know, eight days, I think, since it's been started. And so I'm going to let it warm up before I move it. It's, if any of you are Ford fans, it's a 3 liter V6. I'll open up the hood and give you a quick view. There we go. Quick view of the escape. It's a 3 liter V6, and it's a 2011, the car is. And I broke down and put the fountain together, too, in the backyard. The exhaust is papered over, so I doubt I'll probably just back this out and shut it right off. And then before I pull it back in, I'll pull the paper away and warm it up good before I pull it back in. Starting to... Got it mostly masked. I'll finish covering it up once it's outside. I got to be able to see to back it out, but I stuff stuff way down in here so the paint doesn't blow up through the inner panels in there. How nice it is out there.
all right let me back it out I don't wanna I can't I gotta have my vision I can't hold the camera and back up good enough it looks pretty good I dropped my I filled this up in the garage and then promptly bumped it before I put this back on and spilled paint all over so I'm gonna go clean up the mess clean my paint gun find my old suction primer gun my ancient one that's worn out to spray the spatter paint a flower pot gun like a cheap gun something you'd use to paint flower pots and not cars is the best gun to paint spatter paint with so I gotta go dig up my flower pot gun prime everything only the bare metal and the rusty metal but um you know where it was surface rusted but you know it's i took the little striker thing out there but you get the picture it looks pretty darn good i think it'll look good once it's spattered you know you can see the rust pits but who cares it's a trunk it's under the mat and once it's spatter painted you won't see that because the spatter paint's kind of a rough paint but it's going to look good. i got to order plugs. That Mustang plug kit that I ordered doesn't come with inch and plugs for inch and seven-eighths holes. I have that one. This one was missing. So I'll order two and just replace them both. And I'm not going to paint up in there. It's not really necessary. I'm going to paint up a bit, a bit up and around in there, but not a lot. So um, let me clean my gun and get my other gun. You can see this is already completely dry to the touch it's been maybe five minutes ten minutes but anyway I'm gonna let that dry up and it says on the can directions I don't know if I'm repeating myself it said a minimum of a half an hour maximum of 24 if you recoat it after 24 you got to sand it and uh, I usually always sand my I like to let primers dry 24 I always like give them a little light sand and paint but Today we're going to make an exception to the rule. We're going to let that dry a couple hours and we're going to shoot uh, spatter paint on it. How many of you guys do this? I take uh, my sharp pointed punch and see I poke holes around this thing every so far. So the paint can dry up, drop back into the can and not harden the lid on it. So put this on, tap it down, it pushes the paint back into the can. Instead of squirting it out on you or filling this lip and drying the lid onto the can. This is an old Devilbus spray gun that I've had for God since I've been working on cars. I think I painted the 59 Chevy with this back in, I don't know, I did some paint work probably back in the 70s on it when I bought it. But I haven't used it in probably 20 years so I put a little lacquer thinner in there just to See if it'll spray still on that. You know, just see what it does. How do you like that? That'll make a good spray pattern right there. Alright, so I know this gun works. It is a Devilbus type JGA-502. Does that show up on there or not? I don't know. I can't even see the viewfinder. It's um it's too bright out here. But yeah, old beater spray gun. There's kind of what the stuff looks like in the can and the raw. I'm gonna stir it up pretty well. It says to stir it, not shake it. And that's what I'm doing. And uh I'm not going to filter this either. I'm just going to put it straight in the gun. You can see it's kind of thick. This is ready to spray right out of the can. And that's why you want a cheap flower pot gun or a primer gun or something because it's thick. And a paint gun doesn't, regular finishing paint gun does not like to spray something this thick. I mean, look at that. Does it show up? How, let me see if I can get a little bit of video with it. See how kind of thick it is? 
Hopefully there's not a lot of wind noise here, but I reduced the pressure on my air hose to 40 PSI lacquers. I like to spray at 40 with this gun. Enamels with this gun, I like to spray at 60. The HVLP guns, I usually use about 30 PSI. Um, but you want to spray your spatters at lower pressure, so I set it at 40, and we'll see how it comes out, and we can adjust the pressure from there. i got to put my uh, mask on. Yeah, I'm ultra pleased at the way that came out. It looks super nice. I'll oil an undercoat down in here after the body's all painted and everything. I can't see what the viewfinder is looking at, so I have no clue what I'm videoing. Now I can see the viewfinder. But that'll all get oil and undercoated down in there, too. Yeah, looks good. There's a big cardboard panel that goes here. And then there's a mat. And then there's a mat. So the only part you really see is here, there, there, and back here. So it's all protected, though. This does not need to be clear coated. This is a ceiling paint. It's a ceiling... Uh, uh, spatter paint so will protect it from moisture it will not allow the moisture through some spatter paints you have to clear coat over in order to make them weather tight this one does not require that you can see the hopefully you can see the spatter anyway it looks amazing looks like brand new i don't know if i i have shown this in past uh Oh, paint all over the bottom of the can. I just got it on my fingers. But anyway, I'm going to show you what this is. I showed it in past videos. And that is what it is. It's, it says it's PP-20-TSO2-QT, which is for quart. Trunk Spatter Black Aqua. And... Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I have to say, I, I spatter painted the inside of the trunk on the Bel Air. It's supposed to be white, but I spattered it and it came out really nice too. I don't remember what I used. That was like 35, 40 years ago. But uh, this spray gun here, I think I got it in 1978. And I, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll know who Dave is. He's the one with the with the... Buick 59 Buick, the 59 Cadillacs, the Buick Wildcat, the old station wagon. And uh, I bought this from his dad. And I bought a little air compressor, one single cylinder Sears air compressor from him too, to do some painting on the Bel Air. And so Dave, if you're that air compressor, I'm sure you remember, we'd have to wait for it to pump up just to spray 40 PSI to paint. Um, a friend of my dad's bought it, and he still has it. It still works. He still uses it. And uh, this, I think, I loaned out to somebody, and they returned it and didn't clean it. And it's a wonder it worked. I took it apart to clean it, and there's so much 
crud in here. It's a wonder it's sprayed. Look at that, all the paint in there is still. So I'm just going to let it sit here and soak in the lacquer thinner in there overnight. And uh, I'll put this on it so it doesn't evaporate. And uh, let that sit overnight and clean the old gun up. It works for good for stuff like this. I have another build this like this too. I had this was my primer gun and I got a little better one that I used for painting. But that's actually a really good quality gun. I have no complaints with it. It's been an excellent gun. That's going to look super nice. Got right up in there pretty good. And I painted, you know, here. Just because that was originally done like that from the factory, it was kind of oversprayed and spattered up. That's why I didn't mask it. So there we be. Looks really nice. Really super pleased with it. Now I can start focusing on getting the sandable primer primer sanded out and finish the, you know, just finish it up. I got to sand the this lip here on the wheel well still and uh, do that by hand. The other side sanded, this side is not on that wheel well lip. And then I can mask the car off and get that in red oxide and then hopefully shoot some body color on it in the near future. Then I got the door, and I'm going to start working on the sanding on the trunk lid a little right now. That, I am super happy on how that looks. It's back, car's back in now, and uh, yeah, really looks nice. Thrilled. And I also did some more uh, sanding on this. I got it all DA'd out. I got to do it with 150. That's just going over it quickly with 80. And you can still see some primer on it. That's not surface rust or anything. It's just where I didn't sand all the primer off. But I'll go over with 150. But I uh, just put a coat of mar glass the full length there. And then I'll block it out and that way there won't be any, you know, I don't want any waves in there. So I just did the full length. And then when I sand it out, you'll see the metal through it in most of the places. And it'll be, you know, it'll look nice. And I don't want any ripples in that edge there but came out really nice really happy with that too you know it's looking good I think uh, uh, finish this up and get that uh, sandable primed and then I'm gonna not do anything with this I'll wait to prime it and then I'll flip it over paint the other side and then I'll let that dry a few days and then I can mask it you know and then prime and paint this side I'll prime it let the primer dry a couple days just like I did the hood and fenders and then Give them a give it a black out and seal and paint. That is it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it. Anything that helps get it more views will earn me more money. I really appreciate it. And also, if you want to see this beautiful old galaxy turned into a new car again, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.